What's going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do an oil change on my truck because for you that have been watching my videos know that I just came from basically a cross country trip uh, so she's due. And if you're not new here be sure to check out those videos they're pretty cool. Um, but yeah I know it's a pretty simple task but a lot of people still don't know how to do it and there are a little weird things with the Tacoma so I'm going to show you guys how I change my oil really quick right now. All right, so things you're gonna need. Obvious is oil. You're gonna need your oil filter. And these are my personal preferences. Uh, there's oil that's more expensive and there's oil that's cheaper. I use Mobile One in every single one of my cars I've ever had. Uh, I like it. It seems to have really good reviews. People love it. So in turn, I use it as well. And same as Wix. I've always used their products. I've always been really happy with their products. Um, but it's not the cheapest and there's definitely more expensive out there but these are a good medium ground for me where i feel confident with running it in my truck so now that we have those you're going to need your drain pan something that we can drain all the old oil into and last is our tools uh, you could use something like this this is a 3h drive milwaukee impact and i usually just use this to take off my uh, skid plate and little things like that when it comes to your actual drain plug you're going to want to use a ratchet so you can really feel how tight it's getting and not kill it you're going to need a 12 millimeter socket a 14 uh yeah 14 millimeter socket i like to use an extension you may not have to depending on what tools you're using and then this is what makes Toyota's stand out from the rest is this is a special tool to take off the oil filter itself and we'll get to that obviously when we get there but this is a must-have if you're going to change your oil very inexpensive i think it was maybe seven dollars at just the uh parts store by my house so that's what i'm running but now that you guys know what we need to do the oil change we can get in to start taking stuff off all right, you guys, when we get in here, you'll see that there are four bolts holding our skid plate on. And these are all a 12 mil. So you remove those. And this is honestly, in my opinion, a good design by Toyota. Uh, so your skid plate doesn't fall on your head when you're taking it off. It's got these little safety hooks to make sure it stays suspended. So when all the bolts come off, it doesn't just fall right down. And I pick it up and I scooch it forward and it comes right out. And now with that off, we can finally see our oil filter, which is the only thing hiding behind there. And then our oil drain plug is right over here. All right, now it's time to take off our drain plug. Uh, my oil pan has this little cap on it. So when you transport this to take it to get dumped, um, it won't leak all over your car. And it should never really be that tight. You should be able to break it loose pretty easily. All right, you guys. So it looks like everything's leaked out for the most part. And make sure before you put your uh, plug back in that that little gasket is on there still. Sometimes it'll fall off and if you put it in there without, it will leak. So make sure you have that. And before I put it in, I like to give it a quick wipe. And always hand tighten it first. Always just put it in by hand. 
and then get her in there. And then when you go in with your ratchet, just a little helpful reminder is you're not trying to kill the bolt, just snug it in because you will strip it. That pan uh, threading isn't all that strong. It's not meant to have a lot of pressure on it. So just get it in there kind of snug. Go in there one more time, give it a nice clean wipe down so everything looks nice and neat underneath. And that's that. So from here, we can move on to our uh, filter now and remove that. You guys, and this is where our extension comes into play. And you need a 3 8 drive to fit into this little slot. Let's see if I can do this one hand. There we go. All right, sorry, camera battery died. Threw in a new one really quick so you guys didn't see me pull this out. But essentially you remove the top cap and that'll drain more oil that sits inside of there. And then from there, that's where this tool comes in handy. And you set it in there, oops, sorry, like this. And that's what will spin it since there's no actual like drive for it. So that's that. And now moving on to the filter. When you open it up, you will have your new filter. And you will also have new O-rings. You wanna make sure to use your new O-rings. And before you put them on, make sure you get a little finger full of oil and just kind of rub it in it doesn't need to be a lot but just enough to lubricate it so when you're tightening uh, everything back up it's not going and dry and ripping inside of there and that will cause a leak too so make sure you just put a little oil on there all right with our new filter and our new o-ring right here i already put some nice uh a little thing of oil around it and everything's brand new so now she's ready to go right back in Then this is where we get our special tool again. Tighten this guy up. And remember, we don't want this thing really tight either. We just want it in there nice and snug. We're not trying to kill it and over tighten it. It's just supposed to be in there nice and secure. And then there's a second smaller o-ring that'll come with your oil filter and that goes in here where this little 3 8 drive drain plug goes into so again hand tight in there we'll get our 3 8 ratchet and we'll just give her a little snug just like that Give her one more clean off so everything looks nice and tidy and brand new. And that's it. So we've drained all the oil out of the truck now. So now, time to put the uh, skid plates back on and then go up top and fill her up with brand new oil. All right, all of them are started. Just give them a little razzle dazzle to stay in there all righty we're all done under here all right now that we're in here we're going to go ahead and remove our cap and if you're unsure about what type of oil you need to buy if you just look on your cap it'll say it every time so 020 is what our third gen Tacomas use. Make sure you have a funnel on hand and just clean it out even if it is brand new to make sure that you're not 
putting anything inside your engine that you don't want. And our trucks take uh, six quarts of this. All right, we got all of our oil put in. So we can go ahead and screw on our cap again. And we are almost done. There's one more thing we need to do to complete this oil change and then we'll be completely done with it and we can get right back on the road and nothing even happened. All right, this is where we go back into the truck and do the final step. If anyone is like me, um, they would hate that as much as I do. I hate seeing the maintenance required and I hate seeing the light. So we're gonna go ahead and clear that. So first we're gonna click out of the maintenance. We're gonna click over to settings. Click yes on settings and just go right there to maintenance reset. And it'll ask you for a reminder or to reset the reminder, my bad. And you just press yes again and then there you go, maintenance reset complete. We're good for another 5,000 miles. And I know uh, when you do an oil change, we should be doing a tire rotation as well. And the only reason be that I'm not doing that is because I'm gonna go back to the uh, tire shop that I bought my tires from and have them do it because I do owe them some stickers. So it'd be a good chance to see them and uh, give them some of those stickers. And uh, hey, less labor for me, you know? So yeah. All right, you guys, well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And if this helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you found it entertaining because you already knew what you were doing, give it a thumbs up anyway. It really helps me out. Um, and if you did benefit from this, leave a comment and let me know. Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool to know that I helped at least one person out. But that's it for today. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you on the next adventure.